water signs, my Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It's your girl China, aka China Wina, and today we're gonna be seeing what are your hidden talents. So we're just gonna get right into it. First, we have the Four of Pentacles. Then we have the Four of Cups. You might see forty-four a lot, or four, four, four. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm hearing 399 as well. Random number, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so your hidden talent, you have, oh, and the moon and the two of cups is on the bottom of the deck. The moon is, the moon is Cancer, but I think the card is actually Pisces, which this is the water sign reading. So how perfect is that? Okay, and we have some earth energy here. So off the rip, I feel like your hidden talent is that you just have a certain allure about you. You can make people care about things that they wouldn't normally care about or that they wouldn't even be thinking about at all. And I feel like for the most part, this has to do with you career wise or maybe even hobby. When you talk about certain things that you really like, it could be in the way that you speak or even just from you showing it, that you do it, and something that you're so very passionate about has a lot of heart in it. And people just automatically get intrigued and invested in it. They want to know so much about it. And for you, your hobbies, your careers, anything that you put effort and time into, you take those things very seriously and hold those things very, very close to your heart. And I feel like you... I feel like you do this unconsciously. You just, you pull people in. I mean, it isn't a hidden talent after all. You really pull people in. And, you know, it's like, I feel like people will be sitting by themselves and you'll have told them a little bit about what you, you did, you do, or, you know, what you like. And I feel like they'll be sitting by themselves and then all of a sudden they'll text you or call you like, hey, um, would you tell me a little bit more about, you know, what you do or what we were talking about earlier? Because it's like you have them invested now. And I feel like for some of you, this is like literally like a brings in the big bucks for y'all. Um, because it's felt in the way that you speak, that you take, you know, the, your hobbies and your, your career very, very seriously. And the, that you actually love to do it. That is your pride and joy. And that you've invested a lot of time in it. So you're very intelligent and knowledgeable on whatever topic this is. And you have experience. And for some of you, you know, it's a hidden talent that you're just, you adapt to different um, careers and hobbies very well. You might, you could be somebody who switches hobbies often and you just happen to get really good at it. You just like really fast. <laughs> Cause for some of you, I feel like, you know, you'll be talking to somebody about what it is that you do or what you've been up to lately. And now they'll be like, wow, you must've been doing this for a long time. You know so much about it and you're so good at it. And you're like, oh no, I, I just started doing this like last month. And they're like, what? <laughs> Are you sure? You're like, oh yeah. I was looking the stuff up on YouTube and I just learned how to do it. So that's another hidden talent. You're a very fast learner. You're a very fast learner. And I feel like because you only really get into things that you enjoy, that's why you're not even in the realm of thinking, oh, I learned this fast. Because for you, you're just doing something because you enjoy it, because you want it to, not because just to learn it or have that on your belt. I mean, that's a plus, but it's not your main focus, right? Okay, like, yeah, I'm literally getting, like, somebody, and then with the moon and the two of cups in the bottom of the deck, it's, like, people are so invested, and they don't even know why. <laughs> they're, like, I've never had, an, like, say if you're somebody who does tarot readings, they're, like, I've never been interested in tarot or spirituality before, but the way you talk about it, I'm interested. I want a reading and everything. <laughs> okay, let's see. First oracle card, we have Hawk Spirit. Let spirit be your guide, which is funny because I was just talking about, like, for some of you, if you do tarot readings, <laughs> that was just an example, but 
Um, and, and another thing is like, you're not at all afraid to talk about what it is that you like to do. Like some people get nervous to like really speak about themselves but you speak about it open openly and like with all your heart and you go on rants and you do not care <laughs> you're like oh like tell me if i'm talking too much because i would just keep going i can go on and on about this all day and people are like no like i'm really interested like only a hater will say that um that you talk too much <laughs> um but also some of you it's like you are already spiritually content with what you're doing, so you talk about it so open-heartedly because you don't even care what other people have to say. You're like, hey, I like it, and if you don't like it, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, we have flexible. What was I saying? I was saying that you guys probably switched hobbies a lot, or you can. Yeah, y'all can do anything. Y'all are those people who like because this is definitely a talent and it it's so funny when people are like oh just learn it it's like everything's on youtube just learn it from there it's like not everybody can just watch a youtube video and do it <laughs> you guys probably do diy stuff and just and even beyond that you guys come up with your own ways to do things that other people have never thought of like you guys could do hair and do all types of cool hairstyles and try different braiding patterns and curling methods and all types of stuff. You guys can make your own hair growth serums. That's just a strong like like um, example I'm getting right now. But yeah, y'all have that talent where y'all can just watch something and do it. Like that's crazy. <laughs> okay, this one we have Stag Spirit Take the Lead. Y'all are trendsetters as well. And I feel like y'all are the type to very much, when you're talking about your hobby, y'all or your career, y'all the type to put others on as well. Um, beyond just, you know, y'all are like, ooh, I can get a bag off of this. <laughs> like, get invested to that point. Like, yeah, some of y'all are very aware that y'all can talk a good game and have people like ready to invest in whatever it is you do like financially for some of you it's not even about that it's like oh i just love to talk about what i like <laughs> but others of you i'm hearing like y'all really put people on to where y'all will hook them up with like links y'all like yeah i learned this off of this website or i seen this youtube video and i copied this and y'all will give them your steps added on to the video so that it can make it easier for them um y'all may also like um talk like literally put people on where the people who do your hobby or your career as well you would very much promote their content or their business heavily some people because you're just you love it that much you're like oh like i love this and you guys are in the mindset of, oh, if I, if somebody was talking about, like, you know, my career, I would want them to talk about me too, because, and you guys only talk about the people who, you know, have their heart in it, not, that aren't just doing it just to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. On the bottom of the deck, we have Nightingale Spirit, Love is All Around. And look at the little, like, oh, I thought this was a trumpet. It looks like a trumpet. Maybe it's supposed to look like a trumpet. Those flowers. And then the music notes. Is it? It's not even focusing. Yeah, the music notes. That's like, you guys... <laughs> Y'all are like, just happy to talk. Y'all are happy to talk. I feel like y you guys' whole face light up whenever someone is like you can tell they're really listening and even if they're not some of y'all like i said some of y'all are just content with talking about it whether they're listening or not um and then we have spider spirit make your dream dreams real and the, the web is making me think of connections like you guys are able to make lots of connections you guys easily promote your own businesses and careers and things of that nature and for some of you, y'all don't even know just how much 
like abundance y'all are bringing into y'all lives. And then we have Thinker on the bottom of this deck and Loyal Heart. And Loyal Heart, yeah, that's kind of along the lines of what I was saying of you putting other people on. It's like, you like, yeah, I want more people to be a part of this, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. And you're also like, I want to shed light on the people that have been doing this because, you know, they put me on <laughs> or they're a part of this just like I am. But you're very much a trendsetter with thinker. You're always thinking outside the box. You're always like, how can I, how can I DIY this? <laughs> how can I make this, you know, like better? For, for you. Okay, let me get some more oracle cards. What are my water signs hidden talents? This could also be with food. I'm hearing some of you really, really, really love to cook. Like y'all love to cook. Um, We have focus here. With focus, I'm getting the you're like and with this what is this like a leopard a snow leopard i'm saying that like getting a whole um example of like this leopard is just walking through the snow like they enjoy this environment and there's a mountain in the background that makes me think like you guys will walk and walk and walk and you guys will do what it is that you love so much and you will got you will reach a peak unconsciously you guys will reach a point in which you're getting so much wealth and abundance from what it is you do and it's like you all of that and you were just doing what you love the whole time and by the time you realize you're like oh shoot like i'm gaining a lot of like if it's something on social media oh shoot i'm getting a lot of followers oh shoot i'm getting a lot of subscribers if it's with um, any anything any other business, you guys are like, oh shoot, I'm I have a lot of clients now. <laughs> I'm kind of swamped. So it's like your folk, your eye stays on the prize, which is whatever it is that you love to do. That's where your focus lies. Let's see. We have truth. Okay, to me, okay, so I'm hearing that you're not afraid to go to walk against the wind. So, you know, you guys are not, to me, that's telling me that you guys, like I said, y'all are trendsetters. So, y'all are not always, like, trying to go with the trends. Y'all could not care less about gaining followers or anything like that. Y'all are just like, hey, like, if I get followers, cool. If I don't, cool like i'm gonna continue to do what i do promote what i promote like what i like like it it literally does not matter to me um you're like at the end of the day if i'm not happy and i'm sitting here going with the trends like what am i doing it for like i'm gonna hate my life then <laughs> like y'all are like yeah no no thanks i'm not trying to go with the trends you when I, and it's funny because i'm you guys might be the type that whenever somebody or whenever something becomes a trend i might actually turn you off of it and make you find something else to do or make you completely switch how you were doing what became a trend and make you like you know come up with some monumental idea it's giving a little bit of aquarius vibes <laughs> so but yeah y'all are like ew trends disgust me okay and then we have wisdom Ooh, wisdom i like it which was kind of what i was saying it's like you guys just hold so much knowledge about so many different things because you guys try a lot of hobbies and y'all don't try them on surface level y'all are like mastery level like y'all are like oh i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna try that and i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna try that and i'm gonna learn how to do it and you guys become the best at it like in such a short amount of time which is crazy like you guys hold so much wisdom so much knowledge just about so many different things this is a really pretty card y'all are very flexible once again very fluid very very go with the flow and then on the bottom of the deck we have transformation 
and power. Absolutely. Once again, with transformation, y'all are like, hey, like, always looking for how you can one up yourself like how can i make this bigger and better how can i enjoy this even more and y'all enjoyed that challenge of challenging yourself to figure out how you can be and do even better in whatever it is that you do you know it's like it's not even about other people y'all are not trying to compete with nobody else it's just mainly about testing yourself and your own skills and with power, a lot of your power lies in your focus. The fact that you can hyper-focus on something um, and really get into the nitty-gritty of it, like research it and really get your hands down and doing whatever it is that, you know, instead of just watching a video, you're like, put this video on, set the phone up, I'm about to do it with you, like, kind of thing. Some of you... <laughs> don't or just put the video on and listen to the person talk and end up doing your own thing anyways <laughs> but yeah that's all that i have for you today my water signs if you're gonna check out your other placements they will be in the link down below and i will see you there like if you wanna comment if you wanna subscribe if you wanna maybe even share and i will see y'all next time bye